All right, joining us again this morning to break down the fallout of last night's debate is Tanya Krauss Phelan, the associate uh, dean of academics at Cooley Law. So let's start again with the president. We cannot ignore the reports among the Democratic insiders over what happened last night. Of course, what do you expect from the Biden camp coming up here in the days ahead as far as trying to spin this the right way in their direction? Well, there's the public response and the private response. So the public response is so far they're supporting the president and saying, look, he talked strongly on policy issues and answered questions. Privately, we're hearing reports that there are conversations being had on whether or not the president should step down and let a younger person pursue the presidency. Mm -hmm. And of course, switching over to former President Trump now in past debates, he's been known to interrupt, make a lot of combative statements and claims. How do you think his performance compared this time? And how do you think those new rules played into that? Well, I think the new rules did play in quite a bit because he knew he was going to be cut off with the button if he if he tried to run over. But if we look at this from a substance or style over substance matter, Trump met expectations. He managed to stay calm. He didn't go on hinge. But substantively, the problem for President, former President Trump is that he never answered questions directly. And when he did, um, fact checkers have counted 31 misstatements or untruths that he presented. So he struggled in that regard. Uh, well, let's talk about Michigan because it is a key battleground state, as many of us know. Kent County specifically very important to the candidates. So did you hear anything last night that may have made you think, you know, might be specifically impactful to Michigan voters? Well, Michigan is such a microcosm of the entire country, right? We have agriculture here. We have auto workers and manufacturing. We have a lot of young people in the college communities and we have you know, just a good demographic that represents the country. So I think it's smart for the pundits to be paying attention to Michigan and what Michigan voters are saying. I think for Michigan voters, the economy is the biggest concern. While the border is something that people keep raising, that doesn't necessarily affect Michiganders the way that the economy does right now. So continue to watch people expecting answers, direct answers from both candidates about the economy. Some really great insight yeah. this morning. Tanya, thank you again for joining us live up and early this morning. Again, that second and potentially final debate is set for September 10th right here on 13 on your side. Thanks again. Thanks.